Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. The title of this particular prophetic word says, Will you marry me? <laughs> That's the title of this particular prophetic word. And I want to explain this particular prophetic word because this is going to come as a surprise. This is going to, it's going to, it, this is something that you least expected. This is something you're almost not, um, you don't have any mind about it anymore. But I think I should come down and explain this. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've been family, of course. You know that I love you so much, and my prayer for you is that the good lord blesses you rewards your consistency let the lord uplift you let the lord do something great and something amazing in your life in the mighty name of jesus amen hallelujah praise the lord will you marry me <laughs> you know i felt like somebody just answered and said yes pastor Ethel, i will marry you <laughs> that's how i felt and of course, I know that somebody said it and not just one person. Yeah, you know, and um, I'm a very, um, I love fun. So if I was watching another person and then the person is talking and saying, will you marry me in the prophetic word? I would have said yes, I'll marry you or no, I will not marry you. <laughs> yeah, so I would have as well said that if I was watching somebody who pop up that question and talking about the prophetic word, you know that's just an aside so i felt led in my spirit to give out this particular prophetic word because it came so strong and this is a particular message and it's very specific okay this is a specific message for somebody you've been in a relationship with this particular person for a while yes yes you've been in a relationship with this particular person for a while Aaron. You've been feeling like the person is not serious. How have you been feeling like the person is not serious? Because every time the person wants to talk about something, marry, something comes up and then the person, if you, they don't talk about it anymore, it feels like they changed their minds. It feels like, you know, they are not um, interested in marrying you anymore. And this is getting you to an uncomfortable stage. It's getting to an uncomfortable position. It's, it's making you feel like letting go, like... At this point in time, like I said, this is a specific word. It's not for everybody. It's what I'm describing about somebody's case. So if this is your case I'm describing, then this is for you. Or maybe you might know about somebody or you might know somebody who is going through this uh, case that I'm describing right now. And then it's going to be for that particular person. So you've been in a relationship with this person and sometimes the person's attitude is so good. Like you're looking at the person like, oh, it's you I've been praying for. It's you I want. And then sometimes the person changes and all of that. Now, number one, sometimes when people begin to change, normally people have what is disturbing them. People have their issues. There's somebody who has a problem that is disturbing them and, you know, they don't know how to relate with other people. Now, personally, I have that character or that attitude when I'm going through something I really don't know how to relate except I have to relate outside when it comes to ministry okay so when I maybe when I'm going through something when I'm battling with something that is paining that is hurting me what I do is sometimes I just go to church because I have to go and minister to the people but aside that like outside aside from that like after the ministry i come on life to pray with people and i love it i'm having a lot that is i'm dealing with you know so but aside those my ministerial uh, uh, things i have to do my ministerial um obligations that i have to do what happens is after that i don't want to talk and i'm learning to come out of that because it's not a good way 
so when i'm going through something that is hurting me or that is making me feel down i just want to be quiet <laughs> i just want to be quiet i don't want to talk to anybody i just want to stay quiet like i feel like talking is 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 going to give me more pain you know and that is what some people go through there are people who are like me or even more than me you know but i'm changing and i don't stick silent to everybody at least you should have exceptions there are people whom when they reach out to me i must make sure that i can answer their call respond back to them but i'm talking about just senseless and a normal and but there are people who that's their life so what i'm trying to say here is that you must have an exception so sometimes when people start behaving weird they can have something that is bothering them or something that is hurting them something that is disturbing them, and you might not know and then you start considering it for something else you know so sometimes when you talk to people and you notice that they have the kind of way they are acting just give them time just give them space okay now the second reason why some people start acting weird in relationships most of the times is confusion they are confused do I get married now to this person? Do I get married later to this person? Do I do I do this now to this person? What if and what if and what if? So they are confused. So because of that, sometimes they want to withdraw from you so that they can take a right decision. Now, another reason why some people start acting weird and behaving the way they are behaving is fear. Fear makes a lot of people don't do what they had promised they would do especially when it comes to relationship commitment responsibility and marriage so you're i'm talking to you right now and you're giving up on this particular relationship this person is about to pop the question and you go, you're going to be so surprised you'll be so shocked now they're not popping this question like as usual what about marriage talking to you they want to do it publicly it's going to be a surprise don't give up yet don't give up yet don't give up yet give it a little time and then watch to see what happens if this is resonating with your spirit then you're the one i'm talking about don't give up yet but if it doesn't resonate with your spirit oh honey kindly move on <laughs> move on don't let people waste your time hallelujah god bless you in the name of jesus i pray for a divine connection i pray for the right person in the name of jesus amen somebody type it on the comment section connect yourself make that confession say lord send the right person my path say give me a divine connection for my kingdom spouse in jesus name amen please do not forget to pray for me as the spirit of the lord will lead you do not forget to like do not forget to share and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed what really are you waiting for please kindly subscribe join this amazing family god bless you and i love you so much now may the lord bless you keep you cast his face to shine in you may he be gracious to you and may he give you peace the shalom of the lord nothing missing nothing broken i love you so much i do i love you god bless you amazingly and abundantly shalom <laughs>